Hi and hello, I'm Eliwicious and today we are making a chatelaine. And if you don't know what a chatelaine is, it is basically the 1800s equivalent of putting all of your keys on a carabiner clip and attaching it to your belt. Um, this was assignment for my school and it was gonna be part of my Halloween costume that I never made because I got distracted. ASMR. Oh yeah, man, I love ASMR. Ooh. It's so exciting, man. This is great. Sawing through copper. It's so riveting. So relaxed. Don't you love the noises? I sure do love the sound of metal grating on metal. So basically what I need to do in this assignment was to A, rivet, B, texture my metal. So it just needed to have at least three rivets two rivets of different kinds and then two different textures on the metal easy peasy you know lemon squeezy um a lot of this pr uh project was a lot of sawing a lot of filing a lot of just repetitive motions and tasks until you got the broader thing done and ready to assemble which was pretty easy i used the drawing for my blueprint i printed it out to scale of what i wanted it to be and then used rubber cement and glued that onto the metal uh, i was using sheets of copper and of brass uh, for the respective parts of the strawberry and it was going super duper well but like with most things Sometimes something a little spooky happens. Something a little scary, like a little squirrel. <laughs> But yeah, that's Arizona for you. Sometimes you just find creatures in your house. It just happens. It's a way of life, I guess. Um, you didn't see me do this on camera, but I used a flux shaft and I drilled holes into each part of the seed. And so I could thread my blade in and cut the seeds out. This was an incredibly long process. I over, I underestimated uh, how long it would take. It took me like an entire afternoon at home of just sawing out these seeds. It was like time consuming. But once that was done, I was able to texture my metal, which is, is so much fun. So much fun. I just took a hammer and I started hitting it with a hammer and it gave it this really cool, like obviously hammer texture. I used a ball hammer so it's like a ball on one end um and it worked really well it gave me the look that i wanted and but look at that aesthetically pleasing pull of the sticky paper off of the metal isn't that beautiful uh, i noted and i wrote down what pieces were what when i was um doing my blueprint stuff just so i knew which pieces of, of copper to cut through and which one not to but it's all coming together, which leads us to our next ASMR break. I know you loved the last one. Wow, a hammer. Yeah. Whoa, so cool. The coolest, man. Mmm, metal. Metal, yeah. I love copper. Ooh, copper. Love that noise. Yep. That's a hammer. A hammer. Hammer time. Finished all my texturing of my metal, which is great. Totally did not rot my brain at all while doing that. Um, it was time to patina. Now, I, in my mind, when I was envisioning this, I thought it'd be beautiful as brass and silver. However, I don't know if you've worked with precious metals, but they're kind of precious, so they're kind of expensive. So I wasn't going to do that for this project. So I used a alcohol ink. It's specifically the Tim Holtz Red Alcohol Ink from 2010. They still sell it, but I don't know if it's exactly the same as what I used. <laughs> um, what I found is alcohol inks work very similarly to how watercolor paints work, meaning that if you put more water in, in, in this case I mean ink or alcohol, uh, whether it's the ink from the bottle or just rubbing alcohol, it will reactivate the quote-unquote paint, the ink, and it will move again and you can manipulate it in such a way to get your desired results. Now, it's also just a little uh, chaotic of a quote-unquote paint or ink 
if we're still running with this hypothetical comparison, which I'm going to drop now because I, I'm losing track of what I'm saying, uh, it's easy to manipulate if you're a girl boss and you know how to gaslight. And I found the best way to kind of get a consistent color was to wear gloves and just put a little drop of ink in the spots that are a little too darker, a little too patchy. And I just rubbed my finger in circular motions and that got a very solid, nice color, which I really liked. Um, the reason I picked alcohol ink as opposed to like acrylic or a different kind of paint is because it still maintained the kind of metal look to it. Because with like acrylic paint, it kind of makes it look plasticky, I found. So I liked that I could both have the color of a strawberry and also the red, like the red didn't overpower the shine of the metal, which I appreciated on, on a deep soul, emotional level, like I felt it. No, I'm actually just making things up. I didn't care exactly that much you can also maybe dab like this on the least you can dab a paper towel on the ink while it's still wet to give it more of a texture which you can see i did on the leaves and on the stem which was so cute so fun um then my teacher who's really awesome he gave me a money clip to rivet onto the back plate because fun fact i had to put the back plate together before i could attach all three layers of metal together um he gave me a money clip, super grateful for that. Um, the only thing that I had difficulty with was attaching it. So the money clip is a little fragile because it's only riveted to the bottom. So I wouldn't, if you're doing it the exact same way that I did, learn how to solder and then solder the money plate onto it and then rivet. Um, this is the flux shaft I was talking about. It's like this crazy cool drill. Um, I didn't quite have the right size of drill bit to wire that I needed. So I just ended up, uh, manipulating the metal yet again like a girl boss and making my uh rivet holes bigger i ended up having to repatch my color work that i did with the alcohol inks but it was super easy with just a paintbrush in the ink and it turned out pretty darn good so let's get to that grand grand reveal my sillies like this video <laughs> I also hope you like my shoes I think they're pretty great um like comment and subscribe my girlies um but I hope you have an awesome day night evening morning whatever time you are in and peace out <laughs>